It's early morning at Wakefield Station and one of Westminster's newest MPs is heading off to work. Good luck. Knock them dead. Andrea Jenkins' proudest supporter is, of course, her mum. So how does she think she'll take to her new job? In a stride, to be honest. Like everything in life, the, we had a saying in our family, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And that's how she'll be. And she picked quite a battle. This opera singing retail manager, who worked her way up from a Saturday job in a bakery, ousted the shadow chancellor, Ed Balls. Election night still seems a blur. I was actually very hyper. I was so, it was really a bundle of nervous energy. Really. And actually hearing those words come out of my mouth, I got more votes when it was like, it's a relief moment, because you know when you've worked, you get something ready for the last two years, it was a relief. I got here, wow. <laughs> It was a family tragedy which spurred Andrea to stand. Her father died from the hospital superbug MRSA. Dad was sort of our hero, he's a really big strength in the family, a really big, larger than life character. But we're not sort of bitter people as family, we'd rather go out there and try and sort of shake things up and make a difference really. And she's wasting no time getting down to business. Two hours later, we're in London. After a formal induction last week, she's learning fast. There's obviously so many MPs and this um, it's like a rogues gallery really with um, all the names on and which party they're from. There's a lot to take in. This place can seem a minefield of protocol and tradition. It's just amazing walking those steps to think of all the sort of great people who's walked them in the past and you're actually walking where they've walked. It's an amazing feeling really. Hi. Andrea hasn't been allocated an office yet, so another Tory MP has lent her his. <laughs> Then it's time to make her way through the rabbit warren of corridors. So have you been lost yet? Lots of times. To the famous central lobby, where she contemplates life in the chamber. I mean, I mean I've sat up in the gods, you know, looking down as a visitor, watching PMQs. I think I've just sat on the green benches and, and seen them both in action. I think that's going to be a, a, a real special moment for me. But first she's off to see the Speaker of the House sworn in. Later this week will be Andrea's turn. The surreal is becoming reality. Tessa Chapman, Five News.